Everybody, Mike here with Flipping Goodies, and today we're going to take a look at setting up your shipping on Walmart.com. If you've made it this far, this is video number two. That means that you've registered for Walmart, been accepted to Walmart. The next step in the process is to actually set up your shipping and make sure you have everything correct because that could kill you. So, right now, we're looking at my uh, Walmart store, my seller center, and we're going to take a look over here. So you go to settings, and you want to go to your shipping templates, and you're going to want to set these up so that um, they're in line for what you can ship and make in that time period. It's very important that you're able to meet your commitment on shipping time, okay? These are the three that I have set up. Um, the golf clubs, I'm not going to go too far into um, because it's, it's really, really repetitive, the two pound. And then I'll show you how to assign these to your items. So um, we're going to start off with the default shipping template, okay? And you can name this stuff whatever you want. This is um, Walmart setup. So in here, we pretty much cover all of um, the United States for the value. Now, you, it's, you can't change the shipping rate, so it's always free. So be careful of that. Then when we go to standard, okay, again, this is most of the United States. We'll, we'll look into this further. Um, five days handle time and still free shipping, okay? So if we go in to edit the template, okay, so as you can see here, um, you can change these days. Again, the values got you kind of locked in. So I just leave it to what it is. Um, and then when you go into standard, here's where you start to get into the important stuff, okay? If you feel like you can get this to people faster than five days, then you definitely want to um, boost this. But I use this for all my first class items, so I don't trust it. So I leave it at five days because even though you get a boost for the buy box, see here, um, I just, I, I don't know. It's going to hurt you more if you're not meeting your commitment. So I'd rather leave this alone. Um, and I'll show you why on the next one. But so. Pretty much first class is pretty much standard. Try and keep it out as far as you feel comfortable with it. If you know you can hit certain areas with first class in a certain amount of time, then by all means change that. But for me, I'm more comfortable at five days right now because first class is so hit or miss. Um, so this one here, like I said, just be careful of what you have, okay? So that's it. I don't offer two day on um, first class at all. Too dangerous. No way it's making it there, first of all. And uh, that could kill your ratings as far as the seller is concerned. Okay? So that's that. All right? Now, if we look at my two pound, okay? So the two pound. Once again, six days on the value, okay? Free shipping, don't forget that, all right? Hold all of the United States, okay? The standard I've broken down because of my shipping. Um, this would be like priority, stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm doing pretty well with the four days. Maybe it'd be safer to have five, but I'm doing pretty well with the four. So I've held there for now. If I start to see that fall apart, then I will um, change that and make it five. Okay, uh, still free shipping, and this, you know, like I said, Walmart prefers free shipping. Now, this here is the East Coast. I feel three days is is good enough here. 
um, again priority UPS whatever it has to be um, kind of covers that so again you have to feel this stuff out start high and lower it down as you feel more comfortable to break these up so like if you wanted to uh, add a new rule okay so here's the states that we have covered so far and I don't have the south in here as you can see and I'll show you why in a second um, but this section here is where you can check off what you feel comfortable with and um, I don't ship the PO boxes none of this stuff here and this is going to be my two day I'll show you this in a second so that's how you would choose what states you're going to ship to in the allotted time that you're putting here so four days three days okay um, and then just keep going from there so now my two day like I said is going to be all the south okay um, these I can hit no problem in a couple days so it's not an issue so you really and Walmart rewards you for offering that two-day shipment so overall that's breaking down the different plans now if you wanted to um, charge we can take a look at my golf club one okay again seven days free shipping on the value and then standard as you can see I, I punch in 11.59 on these for um, shipping charges and I don't offer two day at all on those because it's just it's just too dangerous to uh, put that in play so that's basics of how to set up your shipping again if you want to change stuff around you can um, depending on where you are in um, in the United States as far as shipping is concerned so this here if we come back over here your general shipping okay um, you have to be approved for this stuff so I don't think they give this to you automatically the two-day shipping program so you have to apply for that um, my store hours okay my cutoff time is 2 p.m. I have one day handling so I have to be careful of my shipping times Saturday and Sunday do not ship uh, my policy is the same policy you'll see on uh, my website and then for your days off so if you're gonna go on vacation right here okay so if you're gonna go on vacation let's say you're gonna go on vacation uh, this middle week of August right so all you need to do is come in here and just click on these and Walmart will put you off for the, that whole entire week or any day if you wanted the third off um, whatever has to be where you can't ship you just change those dates and you come down to the bottom and save this stuff and you're all set as far as vacation time now they automatically plug in um, a lot of the holidays so just keep in mind what's going on so if you're not going to ship, I think it's, let's see. No, maybe not. Maybe you have to come in here and check all this stuff off. Um, but you can't ship those days anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but that's how you would add vacation time. So that is um, shipping in a nutshell as far as setting up. It's pretty simple. Um, and then you set your fulfillment centers, which would be your house, your office, your warehouse, whatever you want to put there. Um, and then if you start a new template, you just you can name it whatever you want, um, and, and then do whatever you need to do as far as like making changes to it. Okay, so again pretty straightforward let's take a look at this it pops up so this is going to be template one if I saved it um, if you want to come in here and 
uh, take this one here this is the whole United States you're gonna wanna edit all that if you can't hit them in two days or whatever you plan on doing with this um, the value you can pretty much leave the whole country and then break it down as you get into oh that, that's standard sorry the value you're gonna leave pretty much the whole country um, then once you start getting into these sections you can break down different locations like let's say you want to do the Northeast uh, the Midwest only for that handling time uh, you can do that you can just do the Northeast it depends on how you know again what you can meet as far as your commitments concerned and then you can change your days here to how long you want shipment to be and then if you get approved for today uh, you can add that in so that's pretty straightforward so once you have all your shipping templates set up we're going to jump back over to the store okay so we're back in our seller center and in order to set your shipping I'm sorry I moved over before I started so this is what it would look like when you come in okay um, if you want to check your buy box is right here um, you can see I'm not winning the buy box and everything uh, well not a lot of things right now but that's okay um, I can't sell it for Walmart prices unfortunately so to change your shipping okay we're gonna scroll over to shipping templates okay so like this one here is over two pounds so I have it set to my two pound USA which means the southern states would get hit in two days with shipping and you just simply can click on it change whatever you need to change okay so this one I'm not making any changes on as a matter of fact I don't make any changes on any of this stuff um, but this is what you need to do okay so as you progress get your shipping template set up and then you're adding items come in here and just make this so that you don't have a thousand items and be like oh now I need to do my shipping do this first this is the in my mind the correct process for setting up your Walmart uh, store or seller center or however you want to term this the things that you're gonna sell on Walmart I just started listing which was a mistake so hopefully these videos because there's not many Walmart videos out there hopefully these will help you streamline your business and get selling quicker and actually better on Walmart than I was able to do okay so the further you get into this the more cumbersome this becomes if you're not set up properly so number one is uh, obviously registering and getting approved number two set up shipping that's number two on the list once you have your shipping done then you can start to look at uploading products which will be the next video on how to send items to your Walmart store to sell on Walmart okay so hopefully this helps everybody you know like I said streamline right into Walmart get it done quicker than I did and it will be a lot less stressful and your account will stay stronger like mine was I was a pro seller then I wasn't now I'm fighting to get back to pro seller status because my listings are so far behind and I just don't have time to sit here every night and fix every single one so if you stay on top of this game you can become that pro seller which gives you buy box preference you can charge more um, and still win the buy box than other sellers and then that two-day handling is a big deal with Walmart if you can offer it offer it all I'm trying to tell you is that in the beginning you're really gonna want to feel this out do not dive in and just do two-day shipping across the board it will kill you um, so keep an eye on that stuff get that set up first I don't care how many policies you put in it doesn't really matter just make sure they work with your shipping uh, procedures so that if you have one day handling and you're shipping first class make sure whatever you set that to the furthest place this thing needs to go to it's going to get there in that time frame because Walmart watches that side of it and hurts your account if you say I'm going to get it there in two days and it takes five that hurts your account hurts your ratings 
and it will hurt your sales eventually. So this is step number two. Step number three, if I don't think of anything else, will be setting up items on Walmart. We'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.